getting emails from Oregon fan. And a lot of emails from Oregon fans saying, hey, look, we're still the better team. I don't care what the scoreboard says, Rome. I know you're all about scoreboard. We're still, we're still the better team. You're not. You're not. How can you say that? You got manhandled. That game was not nearly as close as that score indicates. You know that, Oregon fan. You got to wear that. Man, I hate that. Stop with that. We're still the better team. We're still the better team. No, you're not. Scoreboard. Look up at it. Look at the final score. And then forget about the scoreboard and then look at the game. Watch the tape. You're not the better team. The better team won. You got to wear that. Even if you didn't have your best night and you guys didn't play as well as they should have, you got to wear that too. Man, tip your hat and keep moving. You had your shot. You knew that game was on the calendar. Nobody showed up to you five minutes before the game and said, oh, by the way, you got to play Stanford right now. You knew. You prepared. You knew it was at stake. You had a shot at the national championship. You were thinking you'd beat Alabama. It was all right there, and you got punched in the face. Oregon fan, be better than that. Every fan needs to be better than that. Rome, Stanford did not smash the Ducks. You said not to be fooled by the final score because the game was not that close. You're right. It should have been a blowout by Oregon. If it wasn't for the two most freaky, random fumbles I have ever seen in a football game, both falling Stanford's way, Oregon would have had 14 points at halftime. DeAnthony was laying on the ball, and the Stanford defender ripped the ball away. At what point is the play dead? If DeAnthony would have ripped the ball back and had been the one running around cheering, would it have stayed Oregon's ball? Oregon really didn't have a problem moving the ball most of their possessions. Stanford, on the other hand, were content to gain three yards per play the whole game. Even Stanford fans were bored every time Stanford got the ball. Even after 55 minutes of extreme bad luck, Oregon was one onside kick away from guaranteeing victory. Stanford would not have been able to stop them from scoring with two minutes remaining. It would have been hysterical watching the pathetic Stanford offense try to score on the Ducks when they can't rely on three-yard pounders. There is nothing wrong with the Ducks' style of offense, and I have no doubt in my mind that they are the better team than Stanford. Brian and P-Town. Man, if we had just gotten one onside kick, we would have won that game. What are you talking about? You were down 26 nothing in the fourth quarter. You made it interesting. I'll give you that. I'm not saying that their system doesn't work. I'm not saying that they don't have great talent. I'm not saying they're not a great program. I'm saying the better team won last night. But what kind of nonsense is this? Their fans were bored. Even their fans were bored. If we had just one more onside kick, if there weren't two freak fumbles... Yeah, right. And if I were 6'5", and I could run a 4'4", and I had a 45-inch vert, I'd be in the NFL right now. What are you wasting time with that nonsense for? They beat you completing seven passes. You can wear that, too. They beat you with their three yards in a cloud of dust. You can wear that. The better team won. Tip your cap. Keep moving, man. Have a little class. We talked about Stanford beating Oregon. Oregon fans like, come on, man. Come on, Rome. They didn't dominate us. They didn't manhandle us. A few lucky bounces went their way. You know the better team won. No, I don't. That's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying at all. Or the better team didn't win. The better team did win. That's what I'm saying. You're saying the better team didn't win. Hey, Rome. I agree with that, dude. Oregon is the better team. But UCLA is better than both. Think about it. Sure, the Bruins lost by 20. But if the Ducks don't pull that Bush League fake pump before halftime, Huntley doesn't throw two freaky INTs, and the Bruins make a touchdown-saving tackle here and there, they win that game. How can you not see that logic? Dave in Long Beach. That guy would see that logic. It's nothing worse than people that just won't wear it. You lost. Your team lost. This is a notion. I don't know if I've ever shared this with you. I don't know if this has ever come up on this show. I've got an opinion on this. I've got a way of looking at things. I don't know that in all my time on this show, I've ever once brought this up. I don't know if I've ever shared this with you. Scoreboard. The notion of scoreboard. Scoreboard. Look up at it. What does it say? It says Stanford had more points than Oregon. 
It says Stanford won. Scoreboard. Look up at it. End of the conversation. Whatever the scoreboard says is all that matters. Yeah, but. Yeah, but. Yeah, but. Scoreboard. Hey, Rome, you're forgetting scoreboard. Rome, what about the fumble? Scoreboard. Rome, the officiating was terrible. Scoreboard. Rome, field kick. Scoreboard. Rome, our best player got hurt. Scoreboard. Rome, that was a horrible call. You Scoreboard. Rome, one onside kick and scoreboard. Rome, you know they're not better than us. We killed ourselves. We beat scoreboard. Just because they won does not make them the better. Scoreboard. Look, I'm a fan of the program. I'm a fan of what you do at Oregon. You didn't win the day. You lost the day. You lost the game. Scoreboard. Have I shared that notion with you? Has that ever come up on the show? They're better. They won. Scoreboard. I'd be saying the exact same thing about your guys if you won. I really don't care how it went down. Scoreboard. Nothing else matters. Keep moving, Oregon. Great program. Great talent. Excellent coach. Amazing facilities. You had a bad night. They beat you. Straight up. Styles make fights. They're, they impose their style on you. Yeah, but Rome, even their fans report. Scoreboard. Great, Rome. They completed seven. Scoreboard. Scoreboard.